Hey everyone, I'm Vicky and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my Sunday afternoon routine. I'm doing some cooking and cleaning today. So I've got a roast dinner to cook for the family later, which I'm so excited about. But first I've just allocated about an hour and a half to get stuff done around the house. So I wanna tidy, there's a few big bits of cleaning that I wanna get done. At the moment it's quite tricky to keep on top of the housework just because of the current situation with the kids and in the house a lot more than they normally would be so there's not quite so much opportunity to keep on top of the house and work and everything else that you need to do so standards have definitely slipped and I've kind of had to accept that a little bit and um, that's been fine that's been fine but today I'm doing a general tidy up and there's just a couple of key jobs that I really wanna do, that I haven't done for ages, that are just important, I think, because it's got to the point now where the mess is um, pretty bad. So one of those is getting the sink clean and one of those is sorting out the front doormat. So very small jobs, relatively, but it still does take time to sort those out. Um, but I just felt that if I could just do the tidying today and a couple of these like key jobs that have been bugging me, then I'd feel a lot better. So I'm starting off with just tidying up the kitchen, I'm getting all the glasses, the dirty glasses sorted, putting bits in the dishwasher that need to go in there, and then I'm gonna get stuck in with sorting out the sink, which is very, very grubby, as well as the draining rack as well. So I'm just gonna dry off these glasses so that I can get access to the draining rack, and then I can start cleaning it. It's just gone really grubby. It's obviously not the end of the world, but it looks pretty grim and it's one of those things that you have to look at every single day and I'm just like, oh, it looks so bad, so gross. So I'm starting off with just spraying the surface and um, actually the stains on the stainless steel are actually pretty bad. So I'm gonna need to use a cream cleaner on that, not just the spray because it is pretty stubborn. I've also got some elbow grease involved there as well. Whenever something is stubborn in the kitchen, I tend to use either a cream kitchen cleaner or the, some of the pink stuff, which actually today I don't have to hand, so I haven't used that. So there's the cream cleaner going on now or elbow grease. And one of those things always sorts out the problem. Any kind of stubborn, stain anywhere that that tends to do the job so got the cream cleaner on I can already see that that's making the stainless steel sink nice and shiny and then it's just a case of scrubbing this dish drainer which is really really grimy which is really, really good. The sink looks so much better. Now I'm just moving on to sweeping the floors, getting all the dirt up. I'm gonna start with tidying up the shoes, which have just sort of ended up all over the place, not particularly well organized. And then I can get the front doormat in the wash. That really needs a wash. It is filthy. So there's mud all over the floor. Obviously it's the time of year where we're out in welly boots and the kids are coming back with really, really muddy feet. So I'm trying to sweep like twice a week at the moment, something like that. but sometimes it's only once a week and actually if you follow me on instagram you'll know this so about a week ago i fell down the stairs i fell over the cat the cat was like halfway down the stairs and i fell over the cat and ever since then i've had such a sore back <laughs> really really sore where i fell on it um so i don't think i hurt myself badly but it is still quite painful and crouching down and moving hasn't been very easy it's still a bit painful um but it's got to a point where I've had a week off doing proper cleaning and it's really starting to show around the house. So I'm still, I'm much better, but I'm still like quite slow moving. Um, but yeah, just, I, I couldn't like leave the floors in the state that they're in any longer. They were just in a state. And as I said, that's just a winter thing. Like there's lots of mud coming into the house at the moment. So luckily the mat doesn't need to be scrubbed. I can just chuck that in the wash at 40 degrees. It's a, I think it's from the brand Turtle Mat. You can just wash it at 40 degrees. So I don't need to worry about that. The washing machine is doing that job for me. But in the meantime, I'm using my trusty steam mop 
To sort out the flaws, I've reviewed this product on my channel previously. I've had it for over a year. I still love it. I think it's brilliant. It makes cleaning the floor so much easier. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. It always leaves the floor looking nice and shiny. And I can use it in the entire downstairs because we've got all hard flooring downstairs. So I will link to my review, my YouTube review of this in the description below so you can hear more about that. <music> cat's bowls are is looking really really grimy so I'm just going to spray the floor a little bit and give it a really really good scrub with the steam mop as well it's just grim there's just like loads of bits down there so I'm going to get down and scrub because some of those bits have actually stuck to the floor I think it's old cat food give it a scrub with the steam mop and then get a cloth and just wipe it up subject of the steam mop I thought I'd demonstrate how you change the pad it's so easy so you just flick a switch and the old pad falls off and then you put a fresh one a clean one so this came with two put a fresh one on the floor and you just slot it into place and that is it so you don't have to touch the dirty cleaning pad with your hands it's brilliant so I'm moving on to wipe down the bathroom sink in here which is just really grotty in the sink itself and also on the surrounding edges just there's a bit of dust and a bit of like soap scum and stuff so I'm gonna give that a good scrub and get that shiny again and I'm using a method bathroom spray to do that this is one of my favorite method products this one has a eucalyptus mint scent and it just smells amazing in the bathroom Can we talk it out? Okay, so I'm moving on to sort out paperwork now. Because we're homeschooling, we have so many bits of paper, like printed out worksheets that the school has sent, all kinds of stuff. So I've got this huge pile of schoolwork to go through. So I'm sorting it into different piles. I'm putting it into piles of stuff to keep because they're drawings that Jessica's done or just nice bits of work that she's done scrap paper pile where literally they've just scribbled on a bit of paper or it's a worksheet that they've finished and we don't need to save it worksheets that they haven't done yet and spare notebooks so there's quite a lot to sort through here it's such a big pile um but it was really bugging me because it really built up and i thought sunday afternoon is a really good day to do this because then we can start monday morning school work nice and fresh now which we use as a playroom for the kids and um, the girls have got a lot of craft stuff at the moment because obviously they're at home a lot and um, so we've got aqua beads and foil art and sticker books and all kinds of things which is helping us to keep them entertained while they're at home a little bit more but it does get in a bit of a mess and I just I ideally I like to clean it at the end of every day but that does not always happen at the moment because there just isn't time but certainly having it clean for the start of the week is quite important I think it does make a big difference I just wanted to talk about this because it's new and it's been amazing it's a whiteboard double-sided stands up as you can see you get the eraser everything is magnetic and sticks to the whiteboard so there's little magnets on the pen lids so the kids can sit opposite each other. They each get a side, an equal side of the whiteboard and they can doodle, they can practice their writing. It came with all these different colored pens as well as the eraser. I just love it. So I just wanted to recommend that product to you just in case you're going crazy at home, struggling for what to do with the kids at the moment, just like I am. It's about 20 quid from Amazon. I'll link it in the description below, but I've just found it really, really useful for certain bits of schoolwork and also just for the kids playing. They just seem to quite enjoy using it. Keep on staring at the pavement. I know to hurt. 
Okay, so that's the housework stuff pretty much done. I'm just gonna take the recycling out and put them in the bins. And I'm just sorting out the shoes on the shoe rack because that's all gone into a bit of disarray. So I'm just gonna quickly slip my shoes on, go outside, dump the recycling in the recycling bin, and then I can get on to dinner with a house that actually feels vaguely clean. I, find, I feel much more relaxed cooking when there isn't just like junk everywhere. I just feel like I enjoy the cooking a lot more. So I'm roasting a chicken, delicious. Um, so I'm starting with the chicken, so that's the bit that's gonna take the longest to cook. And I'm just gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil, put a little bit of seasoning on it, and then get it in the oven. But I told you so. potatoes now I've just got some very basic bog standard white potatoes I'm gonna peel those cut them into quarters and then parboil them before getting them in the oven I've already got a baking tray with some vegetable oil in in the oven heating up so that when they go in the pan the oils nice and hot and I find that just really helps to crisp them up Keep on acting now like strangers scream out loud I will go if nothing changes, so change your heart. Moving on to making the Yorkshire pudding, I'm going to link in the description below to the Yorkshire pudding recipe that I use. But this one is super duper easy, it's based on a Delia Smith Yorkshire pudding recipe. It works for me every time, I've been using this recipe for years. All I do is use 150 grams of plain flour, 150 ml of milk, 110 ml of water, two eggs, mix it all together, get it into a muffin tray and that's it. It's so, so straightforward. It probably takes about 25 minutes for the Yorkshires to cook at about 200 degrees. It's really, really simple. Both girls absolutely love Yorkshire pudding. It's like their favorite bit of the roast dinner. In fact, it's quite hard to get them <laughs> to eat any other bit of it. But hey, that that's all good. I love Yorkshires too. And yeah, as I say, this recipe is pretty foolproof. It's super simple. And for me, it works every time. I always get a good rise on my Yorkshires, which hopefully you'll see in just a minute. Dance, watch me on my way out. Nothing's gonna save us from our doubts. Nothing's gonna make us bear it out. I don't wanna be the one that said, oh, I told you so. But I told you so. These are the muffin trays that I use for the Yorkshire pudding. So I've got slightly smaller ones for the kids and slightly bigger ones for us. So I'm just putting some vegetable oil into each of the little sections of the tray. And I'm gonna get that in the oven at 200 degrees to warm up the oil because the Yorkshires do much, much better when they go into hot fat rather than cold fat. Okay, so I have parboiled the potatoes for about 10 minutes or so, and now I'm gonna stick them in the oven. And that bit's easy, they'll take probably just under an hour, something like that. And now it's time to move on to putting the Yorkshire pudding mix into the actual muffin trays. Super simple, I always just use a ladle. Could put it in a jug and pour it in, that might be a bit less messy than this process but it's pretty easy and you probably can't see here, but because the oil is hot, the batter is sizzling in the pan, so that's what you want. Okay, so my chicken is done. That took about two hours or so. And it's looking really, really good, as you can see. Nice crisp skin, but it has stuck to the pan a little bit. Nothing that can't be dealt with though. And the Yorkshire puddings, which at this point have now had about 25 minutes, are just about ready to come out. I'm just cooking the vegetables on the hob there. So we've got spinach and some cauliflower and broccoli as well. So really good mix. And as you can see, those have risen really, really nicely. Look at that. Kids are gonna be so happy. So this is our completed roast dinner that we are having. Obviously got some gravy to come as well, but I just use Bisto granules for that. So that's super easy and everyone will be happy. 
Guys, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next upload. Bye.